Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. My name is Elizabeth, and today I wanted to come on with a message about is there something that you're holding on to that you need to let go of? Or is there something that maybe you're not holding on to strongly enough? So if there's people who support you in your lives, if there's someone who is lifting you up, if there are some things or activities that you know make you feel good and you're not doing them, maybe you need to adopt them or maybe you need to appreciate and spend time with some of the people that truly love you and are there for you and sacrifice for you and who lift you up. So go into that, step into that. Maybe also there is something you need to take away. I know you guys see, maybe you don't see, but I don't have my bangs right now. And honestly, I've had them for like 30 years, almost 30 years now. Crazy, right? And I've wanted to get rid of them before, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to look. And I'm so used to having my bangs and meh, 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 meh. just fear. That's fear. That's worry. That is fear. And I've been preaching and learning on my channel and from, from other people and successful people that they don't let fear hold them back. They do the thing anyways. They also do things that are uncomfortable for them. And they also look from a lens of when they're older. And I'm like, my 85 year old self would be like, dude, why didn't you ever just try not having bangs? They're bangs, it's a piece, of, it's hair. Literally, if I'm like, oh, I miss my bangs, I can grow them back. And I was like, you know what? I'm so scared of this or so fearful and worried about how I look and all this stuff that I need to do it just to try. And it's an adjustment. It might be an adjustment for you guys. So sorry, but this is just, I want to share my growth in this area. And the whole point is sharing you what I'm learning, what I've done in hopes that I can help you. And so it's probably not gonna be bangs for you. If it is, let me know because I haven't heard of this. Most little girls, when their parents give them bangs, they cut them off. They're like, no, never did that. Don't know why I never did that, but I didn't. But what is that for you? What is something that you're holding on to tightly that maybe you need to get rid of? Like, can I still succeed and live my life if I had bangs? Sure. But what is something that is holding you back? Is there something? And maybe if you take this risk, will it help you grow? I know I've had to grow, but thinking about this so much um, and other things. And it's like, it really put things in perspective because it's like, if I'm worrying so much about this, what else am I worrying about? Or what else am I not taking enough action on in my life? So anyways, I hope this message was helpful to you. Embrace who you are. Embrace some of these things in your life and maybe release some of the things that are holding you back. What is holding you back? What fears? In Think and Grow Rich, there's a bunch of fears and I'm happy to share those that hold people back from success and achieving the lives that they're meant to live. And we don't want to be stuck in fear. You don't want to live a life of fear fear is holding you back. And I've read things before too, where they say that if you're a Christian, and you believe in God or faith, that if you have a big purpose here, if you have a big purpose, you're probably going to be met with a greater amount of angst and a greater amount of the opposition, right? So if you feel strongly about something and maybe it's something good you want to do in the world and you feel like all these struggles and things, that is because they're trying to tamper that light. And so whatever struggle you're facing, don't let that consume you and rise through it. Go through it. Learn the lessons. Do what you need to do so that you can come out on the other side and achieve what you want to achieve because we need more light workers. We need more people stepping into who they can be. And that's what I'm working on. So I'm trying to do and hopefully we'll get there. So thank you so much for being here. I hope this message was helpful to you in some way. What do you, is there something that's holding you back in your life? Is there a belief system, a thought pattern, a limiting belief? We can talk more about those. Um, or just literally someone in your life who's negative. Are you being too negative? Is there something you need to get rid of? It's holding you back. Like, what do you need to do? And then also appreciate the things and the good things in your life. And so just, I'm appreciating my beautiful family and how loving and supportive and encouraging they all are. And I want to cherish them and really um, appreciate them as much as I can because I know that's a gift. So thank you so much for being here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Was this message helpful? What else do you want to see on the channel? I'll be making more videos like this. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to subscribe for more videos. So you got this. I hope you have a great day. I believe in you one step at a time. What do you need to get rid of? What's holding you back? Don't let it hold you back, especially if it's something silly like bangs.